It seems fitting that the Viper, the only handmade vehicle produced in America by a major automotive manufacturer, should have its own facility dedicated to its needs, from concept to completion. And that's what the Viper has at the Connor Avenue assembly plant in Detroit. A lot of fabulous engineering has gone into the design of the vehicle. Should make it easier, much easier for us to build. Um, but we're still, you know, we still our, mo our logo for the plant is handcrafted in Detroit. So we're, we're putting it together, a lot of pride in building this vehicle. The Viper was originally built at the Mack Avenue plant and moved here to Connor in the mid 90s. Since its debut as a concept vehicle early in 1989, the Dodge Viper earned its reputation as the quintessential American sports car. Big block, attention grabbing, fast, loud, untamed and uncompromising, the Viper stands out as a modern standard bearer for pure American heritage and tradition. And like the car itself, the men and women who build it are special. This has always been a place that people have wanted to come to work at. I don't have absenteeism problems. People, I love working here. Most, all my people love working here because they get to, they get to lay hands on the car and they, you know, it's a very exciting vehicle and they're proud of that fact. We're a smaller plant. Uh, we're a smaller team. We have to use our brain a lot more than, than other assets. We don't have the manpower to throw at jobs. We have to do things smarter the first time. The plant has gone through a major overhaul, brightening up what once served as a dank, dark workplace. We replaced every light fixture in this facility. Uh, went to uh, T8 fluorescent bulbs, which is more energy efficient. We painted the ceilings. We polished the majority of the floors and the entire, everything, almost everything in this plant has been painted. How long did that process take? We're still doing it. <laughs> We started in, uh, we actually started in September of 2011. Uh, majority, I'd say 80% is done. As 2012 rolls on, activity will accelerate at the Connor plant, as 12 2013 Vipers a day will roll off the line. For Chrysler Electronic Communications, I'm Pete Misiak.